It's interesting how we are finding ourselves in different situations nowadays. But there are situations which have been there. It's not, they are only coming up out of, for example, the Black Lives Matter, some of other things that are happening in the society. They keep you thinking, where are we going wrong? What is happening? And, and what has been happening? And also something like immigration brings up these issues what people people's expectations of being at a certain point in a certain time could be the reason why there are issues coming up then there is thing of black lives matter but uh, there was an article not so long ago which indicated that finland is the worst affected by racism i think it was 2018 i think so the other thing is that they also started a program of welcoming foreign employees, which didn't include Africans. It was mostly the Americans. This year, they, they said they didn't need foreign workforce. It was in the Kenyan news to come and work here in Finland. And then there was a, another article saying it. The foreigners who were in Finland, they were wondering. They, they get so much discriminated and they, they don't have jobs, they look for jobs, they even speak the language, but still they are discriminated or they encourage people to come to work in Finland. Mm -hmm. Now you wonder what is the catch, the, the, the stats, where they come from. To me, racism is discrimination and it comes from the moment when there is um, a gap, like a huge gap between uh, two different groups. And I think in Finland, it's more of the background. Different people from different backgrounds, that's where they start, they start to, to discriminate and say homeland, you know, Kotima. It starts with history all the time. Finland has had so many wars. From there, they have to create a togetherness. And that togetherness is to support one of their own. Yeah, and uh, the origin of the races in how I see it is when the missionary now went to Africa, for example, in Namibia, they brought those stories with races in components on them. Like, of course, they would say, this is the way they do things and this is the way we do, we do our things. things. And we cannot mix, mix the Because two. they have to, Support, to protect. To protect. Their and then own. they have to, to avoid the external forces that influence their society. And that's the reason why up until today they call people outsiders. Even though you have the Finnish citizenship, you're still called an outsider. Now imagine when Rosa got a citizenship. Mm -hmm. It's how many years ago? 200 years ago? Mm -hmm. About kids who, who know nowhere else as home. Or who were born by a Finnish mother and maybe a foreigner. Yeah. And uh, they are not accepted as kids. They are even directed to do other other courses because they are not pure kids. That's what they say. You mean like uh, the psychologists uh, choose for them what they have to study? Yeah, like you can be oh, better yeah. in this. Uh, you cannot be better in supported to do what they do. That, that is the Western ideology mm -hmm. of choosing for people what to do. But it's also discrimination. It's like when you enter the school, mm -hmm. You forget about your own language. It's actually it's brainwashing. It's brainwashing, you're, right? You're brainwashed <laughs> to the new system. In the African culture, there was no poverty. There were no job for women. You know already what task you will do. That's why yeah. they brought the discrimination of the gender equality. But now they are currently fighting or not promoting. They are promoting gender equality. Yeah, because yeah. the ideology was made for men, for and men, it was yes. made by men. Mm -hmm. So now women, you will be in if you support what men are doing. Mm -hmm. But then you, you don't have your own voice. You have to shut up, because if you talk, you will be chased away from work. You have to protect your position. But then the ideology started discriminating people, like you are educated, you are not educated. You are rich, you are poor. You are Anglican, you are Catholic, you cannot make your own decision. You need to follow authorized signs or policies. I mean, when you talk about a leader before, you think about a man. But for, for me, I see women, like in African culture, being leaders. There are more leaders that has been proven that women are better leaders. 
you know, what, what, what do you think um, the impact will be of this ideology? They say if you don't have your own plan, you'll be part of another person's plan. We are on another person's plan. And so you, you have to support somebody, somehow. It's, it's not it's not even a matter of supporting. It's a matter of knowing knowing what you want and what makes you feel good. It's good to incorporate yourself all yes. the time in um, everything you do. In future, I think we need to be of Finland. The West has to be more open, accept crit criticism and fix what is being criticized. Kind of incorporate that. Because now, for example, even if they are saying we need foreign employees, they know they need maybe people from the European, from the West, but okay. they are not mentioning it there. So when they say we need foreign employees, let them be clear. Like we need the foreign employees, but not from us. But they, they don't want to mention because because they want to put their image clear. Because the program I was telling you about, it was like they, they was uh, they were welcoming foreign employees from from the state. It goes under foreign employees. Like use what you have here, even if it means to educate them. And then that's the only time you can try to outsource from outside. Or then explain why you cannot use the workforce which is here. Like at the end of the day, I mean openness is what will make the things clear. And I think it's, it's very difficult to be open and truthful. And the truth has who live in Finland. Seeing it being told that it's the happiest country in the whole world. You wonder who was who was asked, whatever was asked. It's only a portion. I know it was it was only a sample maybe which was taken and they were asked the, the questions and that, based on that research we became the happiest. Do you think when you meet a Finnish person they are, they are satisfied? Yeah. To say the truth, yeah, yeah, those are the things that I basically work. The, the, like the system works for them and maybe for that reason I would also agree in the racism you know, in the, they are the, the most in the yeah, and I think the racist is coming from the books were giving this racism elements that uh, everything about us from the music instruments to food we they, eat. In other words, they refuse to accept other people's culture. Where, yeah, that's where the discrimination comes in. Yeah. yeah, like us, we are going to live uh, with our own culture, we don't want to live with this culture. But then, if that's the case, we respect their culture. They should respect our culture as well. Not that make it look weird. But uh, do you think Finnish individuals are racist or it's a policy to keep foreigners out? Yes. That's why I think that individuals mm -hmm. are getting it from those reading. You understand from yeah, their reading that's materials. What I, I want to say the system itself is not racist. It's not. It's not racist. So it's individuals. It's individuals, yes. The institution are okay. The institution, I think they're okay. Even employment, but you just said that... Uh, uh, I think, I, I mean the system, like the government itself and how things work. It works for everybody. It works for everybody. But then when you come to, uh, like, employment, it's an individual. You go to an organization, you meet an individual who may be, uh, like, for example, if they see your name on an interview, they don't invite you to the interview. Some scholars are also treated badly. They look funds, for example, for Africa, mm -hmm. for example, for Namibia, mm -hmm. and they coordinate some project. Mm -hmm. And after the project go well, they are mistreated. They, they feel used. Yeah, they think thing that I read that uh, is it Helsinki? Some company in Helsinki. I don't remember exactly which one. They introduced the system of applying for a job anonymously without putting your name, and then you are called just based on your credentials, you are, you are invited for the interview. Then once you are invited, they still don't know your name. You continue with the interview and then they are going to evaluate that thing anonymous. That way you think in future that will work well. If somebody has been uh, the same, on the same school, like, you know, but um, oh, I don't know how they go about that, but the idea of, the whole idea is a good one. The, the, the TV, for example, they portray when it comes to these charities, they portray this money is going to, to Africa. Africa. Actually, when you go there, they specifically go deep in the village to try and take that picture 
that these people they live a destitute kind of life even though they are happy nobody asks them are you happy or but once they see they are being helped and the way they live that already gives a picture of the you know the poverty what i was telling you mm. poverty is a cause of uh, discrimination because they are labeled these people are poor they say maybe they don't they don't have education they don't go to school they don't have many money to pay for their education they don't have clean water that's what they say as well no they healthcare. don't have roads they don't have hospitals so this narrative is brought from there once we go back to the bible they say even if you help don't let them know help without letting the whole world know that you're healthy if at all they need help because in the first place these people i think they just live their life i think those people just want to collect money to get clients uh, for their organization and to become fame and to get funds if you you are baptized a missionary will save you mm. and uh, some of our people become um, dependent on that mm. they believe that and they are no longer working hard to solve their problems and it and has given also, this condition in ways mm -hmm. for people to treat each other badly they should also say that in these countries there are also people who are living here yeah and uh, I think corruption makes them think that things are not working there, but they do work. They do things work. So, like uh, these, these charities, I'm talking about the aid and uh, the money being taken there, even, even though they, they know that uh, corruption is still a problem. What is corruption? In the West, we don't think it is corruption. But if you are discriminating by giving a job to somebody you know, if you are giving it to somebody who looks like you, or to somebody from your connection or um, uh, network, it's corruption. And for example, like at the project which go to Africa, there's no Africans who know the culture. Mm -hmm. Only those maybe who have been in the country for a very short time, who they can control. Mm -hmm. They are taken, they are not given the, those key positions. They are mm. given to uh, are information. But there was an article actually I would like to talk about. It was by Kartunen. Mm. Kartunen wrote that Finnish missionaries' aim to go to Africa and Asia mm -hmm. was to colonize. But at the end, he also said they still go to, to Namibia to conclude the plan they had started 100 years ago. I feel like they have the right to be who they are yeah, sure. because this yes, is their of country course, of course they have the right and i think that uh, if you yeah. don't like it mm. you just leave you just and go protect your country yes, that's, i heard it from someone they say once africans go to the west they behave and they follow <laughs> the rules and the law but once they are in their own country it's just a way of living it's like i'm in my own country so maybe i don't care here they yeah. said when Africans go back to Africa, you can even tell it at the airport, like they are like, 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 this home. Home. like you can eat, for example, a banana and go through the, the garbage there. But, but when I go home personally, I kind of, it, it's now in me, you cannot just throw yeah. things there. Yeah. 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 But, and when you see somebody doing it, you are like, wow. But that's now how long the person has been in that culture. You have to accept for you to learn accept maintain your own culture accept. yeah and it's not even actually accepting it's respecting them this yeah. culture and then pick the good things that you have learned here carry yourself of course of course here there are bad things as well yes leave the bad things pick the good things and carry them along to wherever you're going yeah. yeah, but uh, I think that uh, it depends how long you have been in the culture. That's the other thing. And uh, have you been at work to see how they put the knowledge into practice? You understand? Practice, yeah. Because sometimes we go back home, we don't have no experience. Seeing that, um, I think we should discuss something like that in the next things we have we have attained from, from Finland. Yeah. And, and I think that the origins of racism is the toxic objects and the gains. Keep, I keep bringing poverty back. Poverty is the one which is making us look that we are needful. Where is poverty coming? Our needs are like not respected. That's the other thing.
But now, who created poverty? Isn't the, the colonialism, the, the missionaries? I think we have to end here today. Welcome to join our uh, discussion. It's, a, and it's an interesting um, topic, topic and one which has um, it's a bone of contention. In yeah. Many, many fronts. Yes. And yes. Uh, next time, maybe we we'll talk about the future of Africa, about all the things we have been touching, including education, which is mm. the most important. And I think that uh, we should have our own education. We are lack of ideology in Africa, and that's why we are not respected because everything we follow is not about us. Bye, Bye for bye. now.